Good morning, Chris and Joshua. Good morning, Joss. Chris, if that's you or maybe Joshua, if it's you, you can ask Chris, who does Chris have for math? I have check-ins today with fourth grade and I want to make sure I see him because I didn't see him yesterday when I was on for ELA. Good morning Dax. Good morning Manny and Mia. Good morning Alexis and Eliza. Awesome. Thank you. Good morning, Maverick. Maverick, who do you have for math? Salamander. Hmm. Maybe. Kind of have things planned for tomorrow, but maybe we can do that. Good morning, Allie. Nope, oh, I'm gonna have a commercial. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so our first Matrella. Okay. The first animal or um, creature was requested yesterday by a few of you I think so I decided that um, we will do it even though it's gross <laughs> so to the first one we are doing a dung beetle per request and based on the name you know what it likes to eat um, yet yeah, before I get into the grossness let me answer a question yes tomorrow Thank you, Dax, for reminding me. Tomorrow, Art is at 10 a.m. He was on my foot, so I thought I'd pick him up. Art's at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'm going to let you get back down um, because I have a meeting at 10.45 tomorrow that's going to go well past 11. So 10 a.m. tomorrow is um, Art. And then, and then next week should probably go back to normal time. And the reason I have it at 11 is because I usually have meetings in the morning um, or I'll have meetings later in the afternoon, so 11 seems to work, but tomorrow it doesn't. So tomorrow it is at 10. It's all right if we only have nine people. I know a lot of people have their virtual check-ins with their teachers at this time, um, so a lot of people catch it after it's already posted, and that's totally fine. That's why I do that. That's why I record it. Okay, so back to the grossness of the dung beetle. Um, so the dung beetle feeds on feces, aka dung, and can carry 250 times their body weight. And um, what they do is they roll up the dung into balls and then move it that way. And they work at night and they sometimes will fight over it. Um, so I thought that was pretty gross. So when we draw this beetle, we are going to draw him on a piece of dung. So fun. So gross, but interesting, right? We're learning. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with his shell, the top part of his shell. And it's going to be one of those shapes that I can't really explain. So I'm going to just draw it. And this should actually come to more of a point right here. It almost looks like a mask. Okay. 
Good morning, Matthew and Morgan. You have yours at one. Yes. Yeah, I see it. Petrella's at one, Portale is at 1.30, and Saks is at two. I'm going to try to get to all of them today because I couldn't get to Saks yesterday. All right, so then we're going to add the back part of his shell. And it has a little point here. And texture lines like this. Yeah, it is kind of gross. All right, so then we're going to give him his face. And when I did this, I mean, it's pretty small in my picture, so I actually made the eyes just black. So I'm just going to go ahead and shade them in. Oh, yes, they eat it, yeah. So I play with it first because they roll it up. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm actually going to make a line on this shell like this. And then he's going to have these front pinchers. Well, good luck getting your braces off. That's really exciting. Our, our orthodontist office isn't even open yet. And then we're going to give him his side legs over here. And they're kind of going, they're going to be on the poo. You're not going to be able to really see the other ones because of the way he's angled. So Hank currently has his bone on my foot and he's chewing it. My foot's on the ground. It's like in the air. So strange. Okay, so then we need to just draw the round underneath him like this. And then you have your dung beetle. And when I drew him on my final paper, look at it, I drew him just like this and then I put two more pieces of poo next to him. One image that I saw like an actual photograph that I was looking at had two of them kind of fighting over it, so that would be cool too. Oh, there he goes. At first, he just had it on the floor, and then he was like, wait, this isn't right, and then he picked it up and put it on my shoe. All right. So then the next one we have also done before, but we're going to do a different style, a little bit different position. And I wore my shirt for it, and that is the lion. The lion. The lion. <laughs> and the lion is a cat, and we know that. It, um, and it has a short round head and a short neck. And, of course, males have the big mane. That's what they're known for. And at Lisbon, we are the Lisbon lions. That's where I wore my shirt. And they live in prides, so that's their group that they're um, called Lion, prides of lions and um, females do the hunting so females hunt for everybody in the pride and the way that we're drawing this is pretty neat actually we're going to draw it until it'll look like a female lion 
And then we're going to add the main last, and then it changes to look like the main line. It's pretty neat. Okay. So first we're going to start with the head. Oops, I made, a, I made a bump. That was weird. Let me turn that over. Morning, Blake. Um, I, I'm sure I do have Ilchester shirts because um, I, I had Ilchester and Thunder Hill shirts because where I used to work, and I gave my Thunder Hill shirts to a friend who got a job there, but I didn't give my Ilchester stuff away. I know I still have my Ilchester football jersey because I used to wear that all the time. So I know that's still upstairs somewhere. Okay, um, now we're going to do the back of his body and his neck and his stomach. Maybe I should find that and wear it one day. Yes, I like that. Celebrate our Lisbon community with pride. Love it. Um, we are, that's our school, Lisbon Lions and Maverick and Manny um, go to Lisbon. And I know there's other of you on here uh, or maybe watching later, but um, I don't know if Reagan is on here, Marin. Okay. And then we're going to give him an ear and an eye. I gave him one of these eyes and nose. little chin hair. Maverick, I was just thinking this morning that I usually have, or every year I've had fourth grade make something about this time of year that I use for the front bulletin board for the following school year, because you'll be in fifth grade next year. And so when you come in, like when I, two years ago, I had them make lions. Last year is when I did all the self portraits of teachers as lions. So I won't be doing that this year, and it makes me sad. Okay. Um, so now we're going to add his legs. I'm going to add the back leg first. And then a second one behind it. And then it's front legs. I might have made these legs a little too long. It's a really tall lion. All right, and then he needs his tail. We know that remember the lion tail has like a paintbrush at the end. Oh, 
And then we're going to add the mane. The mane starts on the forehead and comes all the way down his back here. So you're going to want to erase those lines. And then it comes around his face, comes around his back, and then comes down in front. So mine looks really weird <laughs> of all the lines. But if you erase those lines, then it, it makes it looks like a regular line. Or a, I'm sorry, mean. Right, that's what I was saying. And if you want to leave it like that, if you want to leave it as a female, totally fine. Um, and then just leave the mane off. But if you want to change it into a male, then you just add that mane. I made mine a male. Okay, and our last animal of today, or for today, is also an animal we've done in the zoo, but I feel like we have to include it when we're talking about Africa, um, and it is the African elephant. And there's two different kinds of African elephants. There's the African bush elephant, which is the largest land animal. And if you remember yesterday, we said the giraffe was the second largest land animal. So <clears throat> the elephant is the largest. And then there's the African forest elephant, and they're a little smaller. So we would definitely, you know, we're making the one that's on, in the savanna, not the one that's in the forest. And it eats leaves and other and branches and what it does is it uses its trunk to pluck the leaves and eat them and then it uses its tusks to tear down branches and eat those and it also is a very smart animal i'm sure you've heard the saying an elephant never forgets um, and that's where that came from because they're extremely intelligent and they're also very vulnerable so they're um not extinct but they're on their way to being extinct because they're hunted for their tusks that are made of ivory. So it's very sad. So we will draw one to keep it going. Okay. So we're gonna start with the front of the elephant. Make it this long trunk. Comes up and has like a little lip, and then up here has his ear. And I think I remember from working at the zoo that the African elephant has bigger ears and they come to a point like this, whereas um, the Asian elephant um, has smaller ears and they are, are more rounded. I think I remember that to be a thing. Okay. So now we're going to add an eye. Interesting how I drew my eye. Okay, so I just drew it. I gave him a little eyebrow. So I did make it a little cartoony. And then they have these little areas where the tusks come out. You do one tusk on the front and one on the back. And look at this. So, the huskies die. Who's doing this? What is that? The, the huskies that got out Oh that. my god. The wolves. <laughs> that is disgusting. Okay, and Nature. then. <laughs> Nature, you're standing there. Then we're going to do his back. To order the bagels. No! Okay. We said tomorrow. We said today. 
tomorrow. I was already back pretty fast. Okay. I just had a meeting early tomorrow. I'm doing drawing at 10, so I have to order them. Can you hear anything right yeah. now? Yeah. Oh my god. Focus. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking bagels. Sorry. <laughs> bagels squat, squat. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to do his front leg. Did you get that bagel? I didn't want it a bagel. All right. Uh oh. Hank eating is an easier note. Hank was just eating his bone. Hello, Hank. Hank wants for Twizzler. My husband has a Twizzler in his mouth, so Hank wants some Twizzler. So he's chasing him. Okay. He's hitting the eye with a piece of Twizzler. And now we're going to do his back leg here. And I like to do the bumps of his toenail. And we'll start his back leg. And his belly. Put it like right here. Sure, bro. And then his back leg here. Yeah, dude. Oops. That was the rare trunk plus elegant city elephant that just came to uh, the screen. He just got done eating a deer with some, with some wolves on Peru 40. All right, so now I'm going to show you my final. So I added all three of these animals to the second background. So there's my lion. I put him towards the back. And then I have my dung beetle with his poo. It's, he's by the little watering hole. It's hard to see because of all the glare. <laughs> Sorry. You can sort of see my pencil lines there. And then my elephant back by the tree. So then tomorrow we will do three more animals on this background. May well maybe four because I had a request and we have lots of room, so we might squeeze four in tomorrow. And then I'll show you both of these, which will be finished, all colored in. <laughs> so he's not really a, a dino pumpkin; he's an elephant. Come here. I said the reserve for six hundred. Rare elegant city around. elephant. Here he is. Chunkless. Trunkless. trunkless, rare trunkless, <laughs> elegant city elephant. elephant. <laughs> you eat like an elephant, right? Wow. Do you eat like an elephant? What is your favorite thing to eat? You do like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember tomorrow morning is at 10 o'clock. And um, um, no, we're not going to have a carcass in our thing. I, I, the lowest I will go is putting dung into my picture. That's it. I'm not going to get more gross than that. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to finish up our African savanna. Right, bye. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Crazy. <laughs>